Hey everybody, this is Jeremiah Craig and today I'm at Let's Ride Boots and Apparel here in Owatonna, Minnesota and I am going to be reviewing the Relentless Ariat ostrich boot here. I'm super excited. Let's get into it. All right, so as I was perusing the aisles here at Let's Ride Boots and Apparel, I saw this relentless boot and I didn't know anything about it. I, I really don't follow Ariat that much, but the fine folks here at Let's Ride tell me that this is Trevor Brazil designed boot. And I didn't know very much about Trevor Brazil. I don't follow uh, the cowboy rodeo circuit, uh, but he is one of the most winningest there is. And this is a boot designed by him. It is full quill ostrich. You can see we have a square toe with a double stitched welt, a very thick rubber sole here, one inch or a little bit more stockman heel. Like I said, the full quill. And what else? We got a little bit of a promotional thing over here. It says cowboy engineered with the ATS pro technology insole. Um, it's got a dual pro leather outsole, just a little bit, just a little here. Um, it's mainly a rubber sole and it is the full quill ostrich, as I said. Let's take a look at this insole because it's, it's much different than the area that I looked at while spending some time at Al's Bootery in Billings, Montana the other day. It's much, much different. This is the ATS Pro. And as you can see, it looks much more well built. This one is completely different, definitely earning that pro name. It looks much more durable than that, that the other insole that they use. I think it's time to try these on. Oh, one other thing. The one thing that I liked that, that really drew my interest to this boot is that this is an area made in Mexico. So usually, the ones that I come across are made in China. I like this boot. It feels, it feels really good. Um, the ostrich is incredible. I really like the insole as well. It feels much different than their other insole. It feels better. Really, the one thing that I have against the insoles is that sometimes my foot feels like it sort of wobbles back and forth when I'm walking. And this one definitely does have that sort of gel wobbly feel to it. The ostrich in this boot is really nice. And it's, it's really tough too. Like, I mean, I can see why they're calling it relentless. It looks good too. I kind of like the look of it. It feels like a new boot uh, of a regular leather, of regular cowhide or bullhide. So that's different. Check this out. So you see how you see how this is uh, just kind of rough. If you can see, it's just a little bit bit different than some of the other ostriches. This one is much more supple. This ostrich here, this Tony Lama, this is the area at Relentless. It just feels thicker. I am a fan of this area Mexican made boot over some of the boots that they have that are made in China. It just seems much more well built for working for the cowboy uses. I mean, they even say that it's cowboy engineered, right? So I would have to say that I am a fan of this boot here. It is selling for $399.95 for this boot, 
which is a an okay price for a an exotic an ostrich of this uh, quality although you can find ostrich for cheaper especially from some of the brands like like Tacovas, uh, but they also have the the softer ostrich leather from what I understand so I mean if you are looking for an exotic working boot and have the $400 to spend this might be a good way to go although if you're looking for an exotic just to wear around and have the exotic look I'm not sure that the $400 would be a good buy on this I, I got to say that I like this but I don't know if I like it for $400 it's a nice boot. It is a nice boot and it feels very well made. I'm just not sure I would want to spend $400 on it. What do you guys think about this relentless Ariat ostrich? Let me know down in the comments um, and don't forget that if you are in the area, stop by Let's Ride Boots and Apparel. They got a bunch of boots here and they have the relentless um, and you probably will find something that you like. They got Tony Lamas, Double H's, Nakona, Ariat, Lucchese, Cinch. They, I saw some Tin Hall back here. So they got a bunch of different brands. Uh, definitely worth a stop. Let's Ride does ship. Just go to letsridebootsapparel.com and you'll find everything you need right there to order online. Let me know what you guys think about this area ostrich. I like the boot overall. It's a, it feels great. I like the insole. It's much better than the other one, but I don't know if it's worth the $400 to me. Have you, do you guys have this boot? Let me know down in the comments if it was worth the money for you. Thank you so much for watching today. My name is Jeremiah Craig and I will see you guys next time. Peace. Yes, they are relentless and you could definitely spend less on an exotic from another brand. Yes, they are relentless. Airy, it's the best bet. If they were a little cheaper, I'd be a fan. <laughs> Let me know what you think. My name is Jeremiah Craig. I'll see you next time. Peace.